Hey guys, today is another tutorial, and I'm um, sorry I haven't been posting many tutorials. I've just been busy editing and other things, and yeah. Plus, I got a new microphone. Um, this is what I will be showing you how to do. Uh, go into Vegas. I have already got the clip ready. I'm going to mute the sound. Add two more video tracks. Uh, okay. I'm going to copy the video clip and put it on the very top track. Oh, delete that. It's not needed. Okay, so there's your tracks now. For the middle one, going to media generators and solid, solid color. And um, you're not gonna worry about the solid color. In fact going to mute that track so now what you're going to do is go to your pan and crop on the top track and then hit mask make sure this thingy is on or else your frames won't you'll be able to tell which frame you're editing or yeah so and then go to your masking tool um, I just want to note that recently I've been watching some masking tutorials and for the longest time I would like mask and then if I needed to zoom I would hit the arrow key or the mouse key or yeah the pointer whatever you call it to zoom in and to move around. And then I would have to go back to that and then hit that and then keep going. No, you don't need to do that. You can be either on that point, the normal edit tool, or you can be on the mask tool. And if you have to go back and forth to either one of these, you just hit the control key. Like, it's that easy like it makes things a lot smoother okay enough rambling so you know um i'm already on the uh zoom in zoom out tool so i'm just gonna hit control actually i'm gonna zoom in a little bit okay hit control and then just start masking now for this tutorial i'm not gonna be super precise I'm just going to give you a general idea of what I'm doing here, and then you can take it from there and be as precise as you want to be. So make sure the little triangle thing is at the end or else you'll start a completely new mask. But trust me, I've done that before. I didn't connect it properly and halfway through the masking I was like oh crap okay so as you can see she's masked and if we make it a little bit smaller we can see that she's masked now okay, so I'm gonna mask this and now we'll be right back I just want to add um, if you're done with your mask and you need to do some adjustments, just make sure that you're on the normal edit tool slash zoom in, zoom out tool. Um, if you're on that tool, just go ahead and get it to where you see that black um, cursor and hit it once and then you can move stuff around and kind of fix the mask instead of doing the masking all over again 
or you can if it's easier for you. But sometimes it's easier to do this if you only have like a few um, points to move around. That's always an option. I'll be right back. Alright guys, so I'm done with the masking. Um, you don't have to go X like every single frame. You can skip a few frames like I did here. Also, it'll take you forever to do. Unless you want to be like exact perfect with each frame. I mean, if you want to take the time and do that, you know, then go ahead. But this particular effect, you don't necessarily need to do that. It kind of looks cool if you skip a few frames. But yeah, and plus, for the tutorial sake, I'm not going to be super accurate. So I'm going to play this through. So I'm going to play it with the music. Okay, so now that you've done that, you're going to right click on the top clip and then hit copy and then go to your solid color going to hit paste event attributes Ta -da! so now what you're going to do is you're going to go into the pan crop for the solid color and then all the keyframes are matching the bot the top clip and now go to your position and then you're going to zoom in to make it bigger and then there you go if you don't want your masking to be blurred or to be feathered just go through and make it none so I'll take a second to do that all right so after you've got your masking done and everything else done, feathering, whatever, now what you're going to do is you're going to make this zoom fade in to about halfway and then go into transitions. Now you can pick whatever transition you want to use, but me personally, I think it looks best when you use linear wipe and then the preset left to right hard edge but this to me personally looks the best so I'm gonna play it for you now if you don't want white you can obviously you can change it to Whatever color you want. And I'll leave it on blue. And then. Yeah. Play it one more time. So, that is my tutorial for today. I hope you liked it. And subscribe if you like it. And give it a like if you like it. Obviously. Alright, and I will talk to you guys in the next tutorial.